just, I, I tried to get here early because I didn't want you like to be late because of me or something like that. I've, I've never been late. This is the first time I've been late. Oh. Yeah, I, oh, I didn't touch her. You didn't touch I've had a really bad night. My phone's gone. I haven't oh. been home all night. <sighs> I couldn't even call you or anything. I mean, yeah, because I texted you when I was here and stuff, and I was like, I hope she didn't like. <laughs> no, no. Here, I'll let you do cool, that. Cool, cool, cool. Nice turtles box. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, awesome. Sweet. I appreciate you, you know, making the deal happen and stuff like that. Um, I appreciate. Sure. Uh oh yeah yeah I was supposed to bring my car but oh, okay. my, my sister like I don't know she took my keys or something I don't know <laughs> so I had to take my stepdad's car. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a fun morning for sure. Awesome. And then, yeah, when you're getting rid of the other stuff, whenever you yeah, yeah. get rid of well, that, just... Actually, you know what? Can you send me a message on Messenger? Because I don't know yeah. where my phone is, so I don't have your number now. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, yeah, I can do that for sure. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to write it down. My husband's... Uh, <laughs> he's the one who's got my phone. Oh, okay. And I don't know where he is, and... In jail, so. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> so yeah, you're having a good day for sure. Yeah. yeah. So I had to, I had to stay at a hotel last night. Oh. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. What's your number? Uh, five. Okay. Okay. <sighs> yeah. So it hasn't been a good night. Well, hopefully. I don't know where my phone is. I don't know if you broke it, destroyed it, oh. has it. I don't know. I don't Fun know things. Yeah. Know. I thought I had a bad night. Maybe not now. <laughs> There's oh, 300 awesome. for you. Double Thank check you. it and stuff like that. Make sure. So new. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm a big collector, so this is all going in my room oh, forever gosh. and stuff. So. I mean, I've got a ton more stuff downstairs. I just can't get to it right now. Like, it's gonna. Now I gotta pack his stuff because he's not allowed back at the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're. So, yeah. Um, Probably not your top priority right yeah, now, for sure. Because it's in the basement under the stairs. Okay. Stuff that we don't use, right? Like, it was my daughter's. Yeah, so you actually have to, like, put in a lot of work to get it out and yeah. stuff. So. <laughs> It's going to take me a day just to get it out of there. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to figure out what I have. Well, yeah, when you do get rid of it, I'll definitely take it off your hands again, and I can meet you back here, and hopefully maybe on a better day or yes. something. But thank you so much. Okay. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh. Yeah, good luck in school. <laughs> Hey, how's it going guys? I just got out of there. I just picked up an awesome N64 and Super Nintendo bundle. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but two videos ago, two or three videos ago, I mentioned that um, I missed out on an awesome uh, NES bundle that was like all completed boxed games and everything like that. I was super bummed. I saw it like 10 minutes after posting um, and it was already too late. Um, but I messaged her and I said like, hey, if you find anything else, um, feel free to let me know. I definitely buy it from you. Um, and she was like, yeah, for sure. I do have lots of other stuff. So I will let you know. Um, and then two days went by and she messaged me and she was like, hey, um, so I do have some N64 and Super Nintendo stuff. I'll send pictures. However, there is somebody else who is interested as well. So I don't know if it was another person who messaged and asked the same thing. Um, and as soon as I heard that, I was like so defeated. I was like, oh no, like, cause as soon as there's someone else interested, they're not going to let you get it for like a really good price. Um, so I just came out swinging and I said, uh, I will give you uh, $300 for everything. Um, and I even said, like, take your time and think about it. Like, if not, I'd still be interested in anything else you have um, when you find it. Because she still said she had other stuff. Um, and she said, like, okay, I'm going to, like, wait to hear back from the other guy. And, like, it's actually my husband's stuff, which, like, who knows. Um, so I will get back to you. So she got back to me, like, a day later. Um, and she was like, hey... Um, my, it's my husband's stuff. He wants 350 for it. Um, and like what was going through my head then is like, she didn't say the other guy, um, was offering 350. So I feel like I had the higher offer of the two of us. Um, so I just said, and I feel like 350, like probably still could have, I pr maybe would have done it, but, and it still could have been profitable, but I was a lot more comfortable at three. Um, so I said like, no worries if he wants 350, that's, that's fine. Um, I'm going to stick at three, um, and stuff like that. And then she messaged me back, like, right away. She's like, okay, like, sounds good. When I find other stuff, I'll let you know. Um, and then she was like, um, I'll try and get him down. She's like, I'll, I'll talk to my husband and I'll get him down. And as soon as I heard that, I knew she was kind of maybe lying about her, like, kind of thing. Um, cause, like, maybe it was her husband's and stuff like that. That's possible. But I feel like the, I'll try and talk to him was like, oh, we tried to get, 
more money out of you now that's not working but i'll talk to him kind of thing um but i'm i paid 300 i'm happy with it it's not a crazy good deal but it is pretty quality stuff um it also came with a cool box like every like it came in a probably the coolest box i've ever gotten um it sucks that it's not in the best condition i will show it at the end but it's like really cool especially if you like grew up in like the 80s or whatever um if you're a fan of uh the turtles you will like it um i like it a lot i'm gonna keep it i wasn't gonna keep it but it's like really cool and it's not in the best shape but <clears throat> even how it is it's like really nice so um yeah so just to start off um i'll start off with a system first um let's see if i can take that off um so there was no super nintendo system but there was a n64 um no uh expansion pack not a big deal i don't expect there to ever be an expansion pack especially when none of the games require it um there's a lot of like cool stickers on there um that's actually kind of cool um they're not official of course but that's it still looks cool um or maybe they are official i don't know like the nintendo power one is at least um but i don't think the rest are so yeah, we got that um here i'm just gonna put this on the floor i don't want to put it back in the box um so i'll start off with the n64 stuff and then move into the uh super nintendo stuff so right off the bat we got uh you would have seen this probably in the uh footage um which i'm trying not to put my phone so much in my pocket when i do uh deals anymore um because even if i get like bad footage i feel like that's better than just like the audio but um yeah so we got mario uh kart 64 um i believe yes it is complete i believe we got manuals in there oh maybe it's not complete kind of sucks okay yeah so it's not complete oh uh yeah so it's not complete but it does have like the consumer booklets and stuff like that not the manual i was hoping it came with the manual but um yeah so uh the fact that it doesn't come with the manual kind of hurts it a bit the box is like pretty nice sorry i'm just putting everything back in the box don't want to mess with anything um like the box is like pretty nice um just like that ding right there the rest of it is like really nice though so it'll be like i should get around i was expecting like probably 150 i might not get that now because it's not complete but maybe like 130 or so uh, i might have a manual to throw in there um but that's really nice i do have mario kart so i'm gonna sell that um and then we got tetrasphere tetrasphere um i've never come across this the box is super nice like super nice um yeah i've never come across it um and now i got it i think complete in box hopefully yeah okay that that one does have the manual um but yeah it's super nice even the uh cart on the mario kart is like super nice like it, it's in really good condition always nice when people hold on to the boxes so got tetrasphere i think that's like a 60 ish dollar game especially because it's like so nice it's in like honestly like close to mint condition like that's except for maybe like right there that's the only issue on the box that i can see why won't you focus there we go um but yeah tetrasphere super happy to have that like a 60 ish dollar game uh complete um and then we got uh wing gratsky 3d hockey i do own this already so i will be selling it um and then another one i don't have which i'm super happy to add to the collection is uh fifa soccer 64 um never come across this i've never never seen it before um online it looks like i'll try and pull up a sold listing but it looks like it's going for around like 60 or so um which is pretty good for a you know n64 sports game um and it is a white cover or white front um and usually those get really beat up it is a little it does have like a mark right there you might not be able to see but all in all it's in pretty good condition honestly it seems like uh this is kind of rare or rareish um for as far as like sports games go um so yeah I, I saw it going for like around 60 bucks so i'll take that all day for a sports game and any day um so then here are the let's see the sticks oh the sticks are nice okay cool um let's see the other one okay so the sticks are like super tight like they're super nice i'll get 35 each for those even with that even with like this is it. oh oh cool we got a got a controller pack nice that's like an extra five bucks five ten bucks cool 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 but yeah the uh controllers are super tight like those are honestly nine out of ten ten out of tens those are those are good sticks so i'll get 35 each for those maybe 40 um because the sticks are so good uh sweet 
that makes up for the lack of manual in the uh, Mario Kart. Because I just assume when I'm buying uh, N64 controllers that they're probably going to have like loose sticks and not be very good. Because um, they usually do, especially for Mario Party. Um, so then we got Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo. Uh, super, super nice. Um, I do own this already, so I'll probably be selling it. Um, I was expecting to get maybe like 80, 80-ish. See if the manual's in there. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't have the manual, but I still think I could probably get like 75, 80 for it. Um, because the box, it's not the best, but it is pretty nice, all things considered. I would be happy with that if I didn't already have a copy. So, cool. Um, and then... Uh, just, just really quickly, it also came with the Super Mario World, uh... Not in the box. I, I wish that one came in the box. That would have been nice. Um, then we got uh, FIFA International Soccer for Super Nintendo. Is in the box. Probably like a $20 game. Because it is a sports game, but it is in the box. Um, and then NHL 95. Another $20 game, maybe. It sucks that she had a lot in the box, but a lot of them were like, you know, not good games. Um, like she did have the Mario Karts and stuff, but a lot of them were... A good chunk were sports and stuff, which kind of sucks. Um, then we got Stanley Cup. But those are the games people used to play, so. Um, then we got Super Tennis. That's a nice one. The box is super nice for that one. Um, too bad that's not a more expensive game. I think it's like a 40-ish dollar game. Uh, maybe a little better, depending on the condition, but nothing too crazy. Um, and then the last game we picked up was the NBA Live 95. Um... So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to make off this. I paid $300. Um, I'm expecting at least a profit of $200. Uh, maybe a little more because the N64 controllers were good. But I would say probably in the 200 range. I will like throw it up like somewhere um, when I edit this of like actually my profit. Um, when I actually like go through it all. But um, yeah, I, th I think 200 bucks on this like profit isn't too bad. Um, it was like 10 minutes away. So she was actually like 30 minutes away, but she was like, can you meet me at like my school? Uh, which she seemed kind of old for school, but you know, I guess you're never too old to go back to school. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think, I think it's a pretty, pretty awesome haul. Uh, so early in the day, we got like, like I said, the Mario Kart, um, and the Tetris Fear. I'm really happy about I'm adding those to the collection. Uh, maybe not the Mario Kart, actually, but for sure the Tetris Fear, uh, for sure the FIFA Soccer uh, 64. I'm going to see if the Super Tennis is an upgrade, um, but I think I have a nice copy already. But um, yeah, so I should make about 200 bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal, all things considered. Um, and she also said she had more stuff, um, so now she's probably pretty likely, because um, she got my number and stuff, um, she's more likely to message me to buy that stuff um than the guy who didn't buy it so even if you have to pay up a little bit to get that connection with people um like now she might give me a good deal on the next stuff i get and who who knows what else she has you know what i mean um but yeah i'm super happy with that um i'm gonna go run all this stuff inside and then show off the box um and then yeah so i'll be right back and i'll see you guys in a sec okay so i just ran everything inside now i'm gonna show you off this box it is probably the coolest box I've ever gotten picking up video games before. Um, I wish it was in better condition because it would probably be worth like a good amount of money. Um, it might be worth something like this, but I'm going to keep it. Um, but it's pro I couldn't see any on eBay. Uh, like I tried looking up like the box um, or like even a complete version of this and I, I didn't see any in the box. So um, without further ado, um, probably the coolest box I've ever picked up is this turtles uh turtle copter box um super sweet oh my god i wasn't like when i walked up and saw that i was like wait a second that's like a a toy box um which also makes me think that like she might have some like rare toys or anything like that like if if her husband has that uh turtle copter um that would be sweet um, I'm gonna ask her, I'm gonna be like, hey, if you have any, like, old toys or anything like that, like, TMNT, G.I. Joe, um, I'd definitely be into that. I don't collect G.I. Joe, um, but I do collect turtle stuff, but, oh, show you guys that, like, actually turned up, but, um, yeah, like, look at how cool that is. That's, like, wicked. I wish there wasn't tape around it, and it looks like she, like, or he, like, cut off the top, which sucks, but, like, look at that box. It's sweet, um, yeah, just show it off a little bit, but 
yeah, pretty cool box for, you know, just getting some games in and stuff like that. I'll definitely be keeping it. Um, I was maybe going to try and remove the tape, but it seems like, you know, when you remove tape and like all the paint sticks to it, it seems like this has been on there for a long time. Um, and I might just like mess it up more. Um, so I'm probably going to leave that on there, but, um, yeah, that's like super sweet. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll look into getting a turtle copter now. Mm. I'm a big TMNT fan, so that's awesome. I own the original series, like most of it. Um, and I'm a big fan of the 2003 one, as well as the, uh, there's like a 20, there's like a 2012 one too. That one's really good as well. Um, it looks kind of cartoonish, but I promise you it's actually really good and it gets really dark later on, but um, yeah, that's super cool. Best box I've probably ever gotten, uh, you know, just buying some games and uh, yeah, good start to the day. Um, I met her at like eight in the morning, 7.45 in the morning. She ran a little bit late. Um, so it's still really early in the day. Hopefully we can get some more scores and uh, yeah, let's keep it going.